I'm worried about this camera. Uh, 939. A, a Christmas is 49 days. I don't even know exactly, but it's about 50 days away. Uh, so, uh, what are the best ideas for the toys this year? And why don't we just keep most of the money locally? Why spend it on websites uh, like in other countries? Insert Karen Hepp. She's here with some mom bloggers um, to tell us to, how we can do exactly that, right, Karen? Well, this is just great stuff. So this is Debbie. Yours is Mama Mista, your website. Mama Mista. And then we've got Colleen Padilla, and your website is Classy Mommy. Yes. And why are some of these the best toys that we have? Well, these toys are not advertised on TV. They, none of them have batteries. They're all toys that long after the hot and the cool toys for the year have gotten the bottom of the toy box, kids will keep playing with them. These are more role play. They don't have all those annoying yeah. things that beep and, and you need batteries and electronics that drive you insane, that even when the lights are out, they're making noises. Let's start with this castle. What's so great about this uh, Playmobil castle? Well, what I love about it is, again, it's going to be new every time the kids are going to play. They can create their little battles, their role plays. They can bring in other stuffed animals or critters into it and play. We've got little uh, trap doors here, a drawbridge. Got, uh, drawbridge, cannons, and there's a ton of other accessories, ladders, and again, it's just new every time for the kids. They're able to incorporate other toys in as well to play with. And then the next one, we have the Calico Critters camper on the floor, and um, your son. We've got Kenzie here, and what's the name of the little boy? Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Kyle. I show them the door of the critters. These are so hot in our house. This is the most wanted item that both Kenzie and Kyle have. You want to show them the critters, guys? Kyle, can you pick up the little critters? Look how cute these are. There's all different families you can do. And again, no batteries, new every single time you can play. <laughs> I also like these because, you know, you see all the kids that have the um, skateboards. What are these snap doodle thing in the bigger Oh, on the this floor? is Spooner Board. Ken, okay. why don't you demo this for us? And Kyle loves you it as well. You can spoon across the floor. It's $44. Okay. Look at that. It's like surfboarding, snowboarding, and there's even one for mom and dad, too, if you want to come out here. We'll see how tricky this is in heels. <laughs> we'll get back to Eric on it. This so. is but you can literally skate across the floor in this thing. And then that toy actually teaches um, coordination, mobility, and improves your core. <laughs> I will be trying that one. Also, you have the cash register. So often when we see a cash register, they have all the whatever batteries and noises and everything. Why doesn't this one, and why do you like it? Well, this one's actually a teaching cash register. So it's got all the pretend coins, you guys pretend coupons, coupons and pretend credit cards, pretend cash. Just don't try to spend it. Um, and it actually uh, will add up kind of like a calculator. So it can teach your kids um, currency recognition and addition and subtraction. So the money really looks like real dimes, pennies, and dollar bills. So the kids are really learning as they play. So again, it's just that imaginative play. They can open up shop in home. Brother and sister can play together. It's perfect. There's even a grocery scale. <laughs> so they can pretend to weigh their fake food. <laughs> so speaking of money, this weekend there's a special um, movement where they're encouraging people to shop local. What's that about? And why? Neighborhood Toy Store Day. So it's this Saturday, November 12th, and it's actually the second annual Neighborhood Toy Store Day. And because it's really important for people to support these mom and pop toy stores throughout the holiday season. In fact, all of these toys are from a list that was put together by all of the neighborhood toy store owners in the country. They get together once a year and they vote on what they think are the best toys for kids. So these are the best toys. Their list. These are the top list from the independent mom and pop toy stores. This is their list of the best toys for kids. Yeah. Oh, well, and this little baby doll. There's so many baby dolls out there. Why did this little baby doll make the list? This <gasps> is the Corolla to do, and um, it is a hit. It's actually a hit with both boys and girls. You can get it in different outfits. And it actually will go in the bathtub. So you can take this doll to the beach, Amazing. the pool, the bathtub, and it will dry out really easily. And if you smell it, it smells like vanilla. Oh, that is amazing. And it comes with a rubber ducky. I love that the eyes close and open. Well, these are just some uh, neat ideas, and it certainly uh, inspires me as we head into the holidays about some stuff. Chanel and I have already said she wants the cash register. <laughs> I want that board. So thank you, ladies, both well, for coming so in. Debbie, Colleen, mm -hmm. and all of your information on the websites that these mom bloggers um, have is on our website, myboxphilly.com. So right now, tell us about the So cute. Chanel, yeah. He's still playing with that uh, that castle. You can tell what he likes, Mom. So hopefully he gets it home. And then check really, out really cute. This is the. Oh, the I forgot about that one. Oh, that's good. Actually, put your face right here. I can kind of, <laughs> we can kind of teach her how to vacuum. Good stuff. Thank you, Karen. To learn to vacuum. Thank you, Karen. All right. Well, from the kiddos to the brides, let's go out to Jim Frederick at David's Bridal. Oh, look at you, bridesmaids.